Hey everyone, today I have a new tutorial for you and this one is quick and easy, which is the way I like things, um, but it has a lot of flexibility and I think um, it, could, it has a lot of fun wrapped up in it, a lot of different things that you can do if you really uh, get creative with it, but of course first you have to know the basics. So today I am going to show you how to use the envelope um, warp tool, I believe that's what it's called, oh, envelope distort tool, and basically what it's going to let us do is um, distort text to any shape that we create. So like I said, you can get really creative with this if you want. I'm going to kind of show you just some basic examples here. But in order to do this, you just need two things. You need a shape like I have here, a heart. It can be any shape. I have a couple that I'm going to show you. Um, they can be simple, they can be complex, just some sort of shape, and then you need a line of text. So to keep it simple, I'm going to use a simple shape and just my name for the text, but like I said, go crazy with it um, and get creative. So um, the two, so after you have your two elements here, a shape and your text, the only other thing that's important or the only other way that, the only other thing that could go wrong is if you don't have your shape on top of your text. Not meaning, I don't mean you have to overlap it, but as far as arrangement on your artboard, just make sure before you um, distort anything, select your object, go up to Object Arrange, and always bring your object or your shape to the front. Um, your shape has to be on top or above your text. So now that we have our um, shape above or on the top, then we just select both. So select your shape, hold your shift key down and select your text. Uh, keep in mind your text does not have to be outlined. It can be fully editable the whole time. Just select both text and shape. Go up to your object menu and then two thirds of the way down you'll see envelope distort. And we are going to specifically use the command that is make with top object. So here's the short or the quick key if you want, Alt and Control and C, um, make with top object. And there you go, in a matter of a split second, you now have text that is in the shape of a heart. So I'm gonna show you again on some other shapes here just so you really uh, can get it down. So remember the rule, click on your shape, object, arrange, make sure that shape is in front and then you can go ahead and click, use your shift key and select both your text and your shape. And let's, um, I'm going to use the quick key this time, Alt, Control, C. So, Control, Alt, C. There we go. And now my text is in the shape that I want. And we'll do one more thing here. You know, you kind of have to play around with your type because, let me show you something. When I first used this object with this type, let's just do that. Uh, object arrange, bring to front. Like it just didn't look as good with this type. So, I mean, it worked better with the straight type because it pulled it right down and made a nice sharp corner. So um, you might have to play around with fonts to see what works the best, but um, and then a circle, so make sure my circle is in the front, and then I select my text, and then it's Control alt c and voila. So yeah, play around with shapes, um, play around with color. You can do a lot of really um, cool things with this, and it's so, so simple. It's just one of those little easy tricks to have up your sleeve. And, you know, if you guys are wanting um, to learn more, uh, I have a few resources on my website with the links below uh, in the comments. I have a really, really extensive Photoshop resource guide that's got over, over what, 100, 150 links to just every single cool tutorial you could ever want to have your access to. And, you know, they're all organized in one little 
multi-page PDF right there in front of you. And I also have um, a similar option for Illustrator, an ultimate resource guide, and there's a link down in the comments for that. Uh, super useful and just it's going to help save you time from having to search all over for all the good tutorials, you know. So, I mean, I have a handful of good tutorials, but there's so many out there. So that one, um, the Illustrator Resource Guide, is pretty amazing, too, and, and definitely worth the $12.99. So I hope I helped you out today, and until next time, have a good week.